Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network. So I have another story that's coming from our fifth favorite state, nutty ass New York. So what's going on in nutty New York, you ask? What's going on is that we have a 33 year old woman, her name is Ashley Richards. And so basically she put out an ad out there saying that she was willing to be a surrogate for a couple and a couple contact her to be a surrogate. And so she lied to this couple, stated that she was pregnant and carrying the baby and that she needed expenses. She ended up getting over $7,000 worth of money and other things from this couple to take care of this supposed pregnancy only to find out at the end of the nine months that this woman wasn't even pregnant and she basically got them for their money. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Woman is accused of stealing $7,000 from a couple in a fake pregnancy scam. Police have arrested and charged 34-year-old Ashley Richards from Orange County. They claim Richards pretended to become pregnant with the child for the couple back in March. Investigators say Richards then took the money from the Pennsylvania couple for assorted expenses. At the end, there was no child and the pregnancy was a hoax. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So like I said, you know, this makes no sense, but I also have to put some of the blame on the surrogacy parents. See, now you got a lot of folks trying to make surrogacy cool and, and hip and chic. It's the latest trend. You know, you have Kim Kardashian using a surrogate, Gabrielle Union, and many other people. So now you got regular folks wanting to try the whole surrogacy thing as well. But then you got folks doing it the bootleg way. You cannot go on Craigslist looking for a surrogate. You cannot just, you know, ask random people on the street to just carry your child. You really need to vet these people. You know, like, where did they meet this woman? And then the fact that this woman was able to carry on for nine months, get money from them, only for them to find out that she was never pregnant. So my thing is, did y'all not go to any like legitimate doctor's visits? Were you guys not there when she got her ultrasound? Were you guys not there to see, you know, the pissy pregnancy stick? Like this entire situation makes no sense. This is why I have to put some of the blame on the parents as well. You're entrusting your child to be incubated in the womb of some damn scammer and psychopath. Because for her to go through all this for months and lie about being pregnant and, you know, give them fake ultrasounds or whatever she did to, you know, to lead them to believe that she was really pregnant with her child it shows that this woman has a lot of issues and this is why if you're going to go through this whole surrogacy thing and, and use a surrogate you really need to vet these people you know instead of folks thinking everything's all good because a child will have your dna and your husband's dna you really need to think about who your DNA is cultivating inside of, okay? Because regardless of who, you know, whose sperm and egg it is, that child is still being cultivated in somebody else's body. They're still taking on that person's essence and whatever that person is saying to the child and things like that. And I hate the fact that it's almost being seen as very dismissive and, you know, anybody can just carry my egg. Anybody can just carry my sperm. And you don't really know who these people are. You know, lucky for them that the woman didn't carry their seed. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? what could have happened to the seed or what you know mentality she could have passed down to the seed you know in those nine months time because it's obviously this woman is a scammer and has a lot of issues but again this is another case of buyer beware everything that glitters is not gold somebody willing to carry your child for cheap is not worth it you need to vet these people possibly go through a legitimate agency and make sure this is somebody that you can trust who has the right state of mind you know mental health you know will eat well will not be doing all types of stuff you know because you're not with the surrogate 24 seven so you want to make sure it's not a surrogate that as soon as you turn around they're fucking smoking meth with your damn baby okay you know so many people are running to this whole surrogacy idea and i just really want people to like really think twice and really research if you're gonna get involved with using a surrogate so i'm sorry that this family lost out on a child and they lost out on money but it's probably better that she did not carry their child because obviously this woman has serious issues so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation once again, coming from Nutty Ass, New York. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.